What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Today I thought that it would be fun to debunk some Disney hacks. Basically I found a BuzzFeed article talking about Disneyland hacks that you probably don't know about. To be more specific, it's called 19 totally clever Disneyland hacks you definitely haven't thought of yet. I saw Once Upon a Brawn do this for Disney World, so I figured I would do it for Disneyland. In case you guys are new here or you didn't know, I am a cast member at Disneyland. I also am a lifelong park goer, so I feel like I've learned a thing or two in my time at Disneyland. <laughs> so just thought it would be fun to go through this article and kind of let you guys know if I think it's a good hack or a not so good hack. These aren't my personal hacks, I'm just gonna be kind of rating somebody else's hacks, but if you guys would like to see my personal hacks as like a cast member and somebody who's gone to Disney a lot, let me know and I can definitely make another video for that. There are 19 hacks to get through, so let's go on and get right into it. Okay, one is use the inside line for the Dole Whips because it's a lot shorter. So they're talking about the line inside of the Tiki Room area. So if you go in like as if you're gonna go into the Tiki Room, there's also a line for Dole Whips on that side. Um, this article is a couple years old, so I'm curious to see how many of these hacks are kind of like outdated now. This one definitely used to be true. Like I've definitely done it. However, I feel like it's been put out in the public a lot that that is the shorter line to go in, so I don't really know <laughs> if that's still the shortest line or not. I guess that we'll have to see when the parks open back up, but granted, lines might just be shorter in general because we're at limited capacity. But I have, ha I have tried that, and that has been the shorter line. I guess we'll just have to see when parks reopen. The second part to this is to go to the snack shop across from Jungle Cruise and get the tahin packs and sprinkle it on. The tahin is always free, they just have it right at like the counter. I have never tried that and I don't know why I've never tried that because I love tahin and I love like spicy and like mango, pineapple, fruit all of it. So I don't know why I've never thought to try that. So I definitely want to try that the next time I go in the parks, which might be very soon. We'll see. But that definitely sounds good. Sounds like something that I would probably like. Kind of reminds me of like the mango nada, except that's obviously mango. But chef's kiss, that is one of the best things that Disney sells. Okay, number two, ride a Big Thunder Mountain during the fireworks for a perfect view of the show. I would agree with this, um, although I would say like, if you really wanna enjoy the show, don't ride the ride um, because you'll be too distracted and it'll be like an in and out view of what's happening. But if you do want a good place to watch fireworks, the exit of Big Thunder Mountain is a great place to watch fireworks. They're kind of happening like right in front of you. However, I will also say since this is a little outdated, the new better place to watch fireworks is Galaxy's Edge. The fireworks literally happen like right on top of you. Okay, number three. Instead of waiting in the long line at the corn dog cart on Main Street, head to Stage Door Cafe in Frontierland. The line is much shorter and you can get fries as a side order for the same price as apples or chips at the cart. That is true. However, Stage Door is kind of like a hit or a miss now. <laughs> I definitely think it's probably shorter than a line on Main Street. But it's like, once again, like when these hacks come out, everybody does them and then they don't really make them, it's not a hack anymore because now everybody's going to that that area. But I will say that Stage Door is typically a much shorter wait than a lot of other places in the park. Number four, when you enter the park, start your journey from left to right. Most people start on the right side of the park, so you'll avoid crowds this way. Okay, I will agree with this. They're obviously talking about Disneyland, even though this is definitely a picture of DCA, it looks like. By Minnie's outfit, I can tell it's DCA. But they must be talking about Disneyland because in Disneyland, if you go to the right, that's where like Space Mountain is and everybody usually runs to Space Mountain. Um, we've got Matterhorn, right center kind of way. Um, 
Fantasyland is in the middle, which is like where all the parents want to go with the kids. So I would agree with that. You can go to the left and like immediately get on, you know, maybe Jungle Cruise or Indiana Jones, Pirates, Haunted Mansion. So I would say that that's, that's probably a fair assessment, but then it might be depending on the time of the year because if it's Halloween or Christmas time, everybody is going to want to go to Haunted Mansion. So I guess it kind of depends. As far as DCA, I feel like people would typically run towards Guardians or Racers, which are kind of on the left middle. So I don't know if I agree with that um, for DCA at least. Number five, no need to buy those expensive water bottles. You can get cups of ice water for free at any park establishment where there's a soda fountain. All you have to do is ask. This is true. You can also ask for a large cup of water and you'll get one for free. And a lot of places now, actually I don't know because of COVID, we'll have to see what the park is like when it reopens, but they used to have a lot of like just little water fountains where you could go maybe get a cup of water and then just keep refilling it at one of the fountains. But we might have to see how things change. I kind of have a feeling those won't be available when the parks reopen. But you can go up and just ask for a cup of water. You get it for free. Number six, buy the popcorn in the tall plastic container and when you're finished, buy a turkey leg. It fits perfectly in the popcorn container so you aren't stuck carrying a huge greasy meat leg what? So you aren't stuck carrying a huge greasy meat leg like a savage. Um, I've never tried this. <laughs> that seems like a, an interesting problem to have. I've never tried this, but the tall plastic container, I'm trying to think of like, do they mean a popcorn bucket? I guess that could work if you're going to want to buy popcorn and then eat a turkey leg immediately after. I don't know. I personally wouldn't do it. <laughs> Seven, if you want a more thrilling roller coaster experience, always sit in the last car. Yeah, I don't think that that's a surprise. I'm pretty sure that that's known everywhere, like any theme park, not just Disney. Um, you're bound to feel the, the roller coaster a lot more if you're sitting in the last row. So that is true, can confirm. Number eight, take pictures in front of the blue wall in California Adventure Hollywood Vax backlot area sorry you can't talk it's a really cute backdrop this is how i can tell that this is a little outdated because this was so big a couple years ago taking pictures at the blue wall so that is kind of in like the back um corner of hollywood land in the back lot area there is a blue wall which i mean now they put captain marvel in front of there so i don't even know if the blue wall exists anymore it was a cute picture spot but they've definitely added so many more since then so i feel like this one is like subpar compared to all the new ones number nine buy a shirt at the disney store during a sale then ask park characters to sign it with a marker for a souvenir that is less expensive and even more magical um i mean you could totally do that <laughs> i don't really have any anything to say about that other than it's probably really hard to sign a shirt. So just keep that in mind. I would say I've seen people do like hats. That could be kind of fun. Number 10, if you're traveling with kids, have bulky items, diapers, cases of water, etc. I don't know why you'd have a whole case of water, but anyway. Uh, oh, okay, I didn't read the whole question. If you're traveling with kids and have bulky items shipped to your hotel before you arrive, I didn't know you could do that. Disney will have them waiting for you at check-in and you won't have to worry about traveling with them. I didn't know that. Uh, so there you go, there's a hack. I obviously have not really stayed in hotels all that often. I think I've stayed maybe maybe like a handful of times, but it's all been when I was way younger, so it hasn't been recently. Um, and I've never been to any other Disney park, so I haven't had the need to stay in a hotel. So I'm not that well versed on like hotel life. <laughs> okay, 11, use the single writers line if you're not with the if you're in a group and you're comfortable with not sitting together, you will have a much shorter wait time. Very true, very true. Number 12, always remember where you parked by making it into a fun little song for your kids. And when you get back to the parking lot, ask them who remembers. All right, this is definitely a hack for like parents or families. I definitely used to never know where I parked when I was younger. I would always be like, oh my God, where did we park? We're never gonna find the car. But having gone to Disney, I'm sorry, if you can hear that, there's a plane 
passing outside. Having been to Disney so much in my life, I've just come to somehow like, I just, it's muscle memory and I like know where I am every time I go. So I don't really need to do this. But if you're in like a family or a large group, I guess this could be a fun activity. Number 13, keep your phone in a Ziploc bag for protection during wet rides. Yeah, that's pretty standard. I mean, they also sell those like waterproof, uh, like phone cases and like phone bags and stuff. So you could definitely do that. Um, but they also have like if you ever get on like the raft rides that center console that's covered in plastic that you can put all your stuff in your stuff is like bound to not get wet in there 14 buy Disney gift cards in bulk from Sam's Club or Costco and use them to buy your tickets You get bonus gift card money when you buy the multi-pack I saw something about this recently saying to buy like a hotel or I think it was a way to like like keep buying like little five dollar ten dollar gift cards putting them in a jar And then you'll eventually be able to like afford a hotel room or something So this could definitely be like a fun way to save up for a vacation or um, Maybe you can ask for cards for gift cards for like Christmas or your birthday or something Definitely 15 get yourself on a meal schedule that's outside of the usual time So when everybody is sitting down for dinner, you're walking straight into Pirates of the Caribbean um, yeah, but <laughs> Here's the thing is I wouldn't really say that there is a like usual time anymore It's just busy all the time and that's just the reality of it. There's always gonna be people who are thinking like this and aren't eating at like the usual time I mean what even is the usual time anymore like when you're on a theme park you're bound to be like off schedule anyway you know so I would say like maybe but I'm just gonna say like odds are that's probably not not true I would say go more when there's like a show or a parade because odds are people are all watching the show and then you can get on a ride 16 head to the plaza inn for kosher food options um that's true however now they have definitely added a lot more kosher vegetarian vegan friendly oh gluten free like options for people at so many other locations so this is definitely not the only one that has options for everybody 17 if you don't want to get wet on a boat ride sit towards the middle and pick your feet up during the drops Then you won't have to walk in squishy shoes. I mean, yeah, but like if you don't want to get wet then like just don't get on a wet ride You know 18 get in a line for a ride right before closing as long as you're in line by closing time You can still ride the ride even if it has a long wait time uh this just makes me feel so bad for the cast members that have to work that ride and it's like closing time but you have like an hour long wait. I feel really bad for them. However, it is true that you can, let's say the park closes at 10 p.m. If it's 9.59 and you make it in line, then you are on that ride even if it's a 45 minute wait. Once again, I don't know how things are gonna change when the parks reopen with COVID guidelines and stuff. That might not be a thing anymore and maybe they're cutting the lines early. I don't really know. That'll be something that we're gonna have to wait and see. 19, this is the last one. If you want to beat the massive crowd exiting Disneyland after the fireworks show, head to the roof of the parking structure to view it instead. You'll be one of the first ones out after the fireworks end and your view will be pretty damn cool too. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. You can definitely watch the fireworks from the parking structure. You get a pretty good view of them, obviously, because they're happening right there in the sky in front of you. I mean, you can also hang out at like, another good place to watch them is like the train station. You can go up there, watch them there. Um, that way you're kind of by like the front of the park. You can also watch them in the Esplanade and you get a pretty cool view of fireworks too. Just in case you want to like still be in the environment of the parks. Okay, but that is all of the hacks that that article had. <laughs> Very interesting. I can tell that some of them are a little outdated and it's just funny what people like to say are hacks at the park. So like I said earlier, if you guys wanna hear my personal hacks or some things that I think can make your Disney experience a little bit better, let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely make a video doing that. If you guys enjoy this type of content, be sure to also let me know by liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that stuff down below. And like I said, I might be going into the parks very soon um, when they reopen, maybe before, we'll see. 
but let me know if you guys would like me to vlog that and kind of show the new COVID guidelines and how the park is handling everything. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!